Okay, we had poor connection there for a minute. I was like, I'm right beside a cell tower with five freaking bars. How we got a poor connection, man? I think Verizon is like, since this whole thing has been going on, I think they've done something with their service, man. I can, I used to, I, I, I can stream at 1080p down here with no problem. It seems to be doing okay, though. Status, what's going on, man? How'd you do trout fishing? Terrible today, they weren't hitting, or at least I couldn't get to them. That's the way it goes sometimes, man. Like yesterday when we were fishing for the smallmouth, I couldn't get them. But as soon as I got home, I got a notification on my phone that somebody caught a fish down there where I was at. And I texted them, I was like, man. How'd y'all catch that stuff? I was like, I threw everything. And they threw the one one thing I didn't throw, which was a lipless crankbait. A red and black lipless crankbait. I threw a red and black crankbait, but it wasn't lipless. That's why it's fishing and not catching, that's right. I gotta work on my, my saltiness, uh, you know. Of course, I was getting salty because I wasn't catching anything and I was losing a bunch of lures yesterday. But I gotta try not to do that on stream, man. It runs people off. Nobody wants to watch somebody be salty. Come on, man. We'll be fishing the creek today. There's no trout in here. Uh, we're gonna be fishing for bass, largemouth bass, rock bass, bluegill, creek chubs, uh, common shiners, and striped shiners. It gets the best of you, especially when you start losing money. <laughs> a lot of it, too. I'd say the two days I went down to the river and fished for smallmouths, I probably lost... Well, think about it. I probably lost 10 to 12 lures, and those lures are 6 $7 a piece. It hurts a little bit. Just a little bit. What's going on, Blacko? We're back at the creek. It looks like it's gonna storm and it's really windy. But it's supposed to rain for the next three days. God, it's horrible. Yeah, this might be the last opportunity I get to fish. For the next couple of days. What state are you in, uh, status? I, th I can't remember if you told me. If you did, I apologize. I can't remember stuff at all, man. Uh, I got my jerk bait on still that we caught all those trout on. I think I'm gonna try it first. 
Pennsylvania. Do you have rainbow and brown trout up there? You might have other species too, cutthroat, brook trout. This is what we caught our brook all of our trout on uh, the other day. I'm just going to leave it tied on for a minute and throw it a couple of times down at the creek. See if anything will take it. I think the creek's fairly. fairly clear now. I think. On just a second, y'all. Rainbow brook and brown ones that are stocked to wild ones as well. Nice. We do have brooks out here, but I have to travel about an hour away to get to them. We end up most likely switching over to like a uh, gold pimento or something down here. Something real small. I used to catch a whole bunch of stuff down here on uh, pink worms but yeah we'll just keep this jerk bait tied on for a little bit they can do them trout tore this thing up wow uh, but yeah we'll keep this on for just a couple of throws and see if we can get anything to take it dang son look at that I've seen a ton of those birds here recently. Down here eating all my fish. Oh yeah, I haven't been down here for a while. It feels good, I love it. This is my jam right here. I'll, I'll take this right here over lakes or rivers any day. The fish may not be as big, but I don't even care. I got a hit on it already. Water's a little stained. But for the most part, it's pretty clear. Bluff Creek fishing. I was trying to take that night bot notification off where it says we name lures after subs because I can't. I'm having trouble figuring out how to do that efficiently. Now I can do it several different ways, but I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out the most efficient way to do it. And plus, all my labels came off uh, that I had. Yeah, there you go, status. Thank you, Plego. Yeah, man, post your pictures in there. Of your catches.
Let's go up this way. I'm not going to replace the jerk bait just yet. I don't normally use a jerk bait in the creek. Just so you know, I usually use the jig style lures or inline spinners or something like that. Never used a jerk bait in the creek. Wow, son, look at that. That's new. Some of you guys are in the stream on a normal basis. Oh, the tree fell over here. It uprooted the corner of this island. Wow. Okay. We used to fish this hole right here all the time. But now there's a tree in it. <laughs> What's up, Kai? Hey, Kevin. What's going on, man? I'm jigging my rod. Oh. Well. Okay. That works, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if he tried to bite it or if we actually snagged him by accident. That's a little uh, striped shiner. No. Oh. What's going on, Brizzy? We're out here at the creek today doing what I truly like to do, which is creek fishing. I'm using a jerk bait though, which is the first time I've ever used a jerk bait in the creek because normally the fish in here aren't big enough unless they're bass. There are bass in here. Creek fishing is what you enjoy also. Awesome, man. Yeah, I'd take creek fishing over any other type of fishing, man. Anytime. You can come and take my rivers and my lakes away from me, but leave my creeks, please. We've got some pretty big fish out of here. Normally, you know, obviously the fish aren't as big in a creek. But we've got some six, seven pound channel cats out of here. Look at this, man. The flood uprooted the corner of this island. That's crazy, man. Make sure you guys go follow Kayak Kevin, as well as uh, that Pleco guy. What's up, Brandon? Looks to be a bass spot. We catch some bass here. Uh, so far, all I've caught out of here is largemouth bass and rock bass. But if you go further down near the river, there's smallmouth in it. I'm gonna try this hole up here with the jerk bait, and then I'm probably gonna take the jerk bait off. I said I don't normally fish this creek with a jerk bait. This is something I've never done. I wanted to give it a shot. 
because most of the stuff in here is bluegills, creek chubs, shiners. The rock bass are fewer in numbers, but they're in here. The largemouth bass are even fewer in numbers. Normally my go-to bait in this creek is a gulp minnow, a little one-inch gulp minnow. I'm gonna use a pink worm. I use a pink worm a lot in here too. Oh, oh dang, Sonny came off. I don't know what that was. What's up, Chai Star? We caught one little striped shiner and I just lost one. I don't know what it was. I think it's a creek chub. Oh, I'm trying to just I'm trying to jerk bait, try to start in the creek here, which I've never done. I was telling people just now. Uh, this is the one we caught all the trout on, but I've never fished a jerk bait in this creek, so. Giving it a shot here and see what happens. Normally I go for even smaller stuff than this, like a one inch gulp minnow or something like that. Waxter, what's up, buddy? I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. I just wanted to give that a few throws to test it out, see how it did. What did I used to catch a bunch of fish up here on? It was the uh, it was that Lucky John Nayata kind of dragonfly imitation, but I'm going straight for the. Great, straight for the gulp minnows, I believe. Mm. Oh shoot, I forgot I'm out of dang, uh, I'm out of trout magnet hooks, I gotta get some more. Don't lose that thing, it's trout gold. <laughs> no kidding. That was insane. I just wanted to give it a shot there and see how it did. We caught a fish on it and hooked one, so, you know, that's pretty good. Let me look at these gold minnows real quick. Oh shoot, I forgot I gotta plug my dang charger up. We only got 6% battery left.
Okay, the gulp minnows are... Uh, there they are. I just want to look at the size of these. Oh, did the stream drop, bro? Did the stream drop? I think it did. I hate that, man. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to have streaming... Stream drop protection, but I don't. In reality, I don't. I don't know if this is too big. For this little thing. It might be. I'll just have to do a little bit of testing and see. Hello! Yep, the stream did drop, didn't it? Mm. Thanks, Streamlabs, for your drop protection that I pay $20 a month for. It's really, really helping out. See if we can get anything on the goat minna. This is a bigger hook than I usually use. Whip it, so I don't know. Now we're back live, y'all. Did the stream drop out on you? that it dropped I'm supposed to have drop protection but you know like it's not supposed to completely disconnect but that doesn't seem to work this tree is going to end up falling next there let's keep going here oh look the uh, Popeye tree is blooming I 
I'm having a hard time accepting that I'm not catching fish right here. Especially on a gold minnow. I think it's sinking too fast, man. Like maybe if I put it on a float, it would be better. Actually, try the pink worm, yeah. Well, What's up, Raptor? Pretty much whatever bites, man. There, we are multi species fishing. As far as species that are in this creek, we have large mouth. Bluegill, rock bass, largemouth bass, creek chubs, striped shiners. Pretty little bluegill. Common shiners, banded sculpins. Tennessee darters. Oh, there's a school of bluegill right there. There is a mess of bluegill right there in that hole. I finally found a hole that there's some fish out here. Yep, yep. I might, I might switch over to a smaller hook and cut this bait in half. because these are some small fish it seems like. Yeah, they're small. Small little dudes. <laughs> what's up, Mordecai? Shane and Jackie, what's going on? Make sure you guys follow Shane and Jackie's adventures. Mordecai and Hump. That Pleco guy for life. All those guys are streaming friends of ours. God dang it. I missed him, dude. He bit it before I even locked my reel down. Yeah, I'm about to switch to a smaller hook. You guys prepared to go smaller? Ooh, shoot, that was a good bite. Yep, that's it. We're going smaller. We're going to catch them. We are catching these fish. If there's fish biting, I don't care what size they are, I'm going to catch them. Biting some. Grumpy, what's up, man? Where in the world you been? Where how in the world you been? Should be a question, actually. How in the world you been? 
pair of <laughs> Yes, grumpy. All right, so we're going to go down to this hook size here. And we're going to cut this this lure in half. We're going to take his hat off. And Dobby, no, I don't keep any fish. I, I actually hate the taste of fish. <laughs> Dobby. Dang, son. All right, let's catch these little micro fish here. Jamarlo, what's going on? Dobby said, <laughs> "Y'all like fish either, but you love to fish." I'm good, sir. Just been playing uh, Hunter Call of the Wild. I started all over and already back up to level 28. Dang, son. Grinding it out, ain't you? All right, let's see if we can catch these little guys over here. All right, we caught the tree. And now I gotta scare my fish away to go get my freaking lure. That one casts just a little bit different. <laughs> I'm going to try to sneak up on him here. Shh. Jim, my uh, chest mount sticks out about five inches from my chest, so I'm able to reach out. Oh no, I think we scared a fish away, man. Thanks, tree. It's all your fault. Uh, let's see here. What's up, man? How you doing? I just scared all my fishies away. I was trying to catch some little micro fish. And I scared them away. I got hung up in the tree. Like a dingus. Boing <laughs> song. Alright, maybe we didn't scare him away. That's a little, uh, <laughs> little tiny baby bluegill. Oh, we're in Tennessee. Hello, can you swim in there? Yeah, it's like a river, basically. We're standing in the middle of it right now. Toss some bait. You guys that are subscribers, spam, that bait, spam the bait emote when I catch bait. I'm 
become the master baiter of chat. Looks like the fish are back. See when we were when we were fishing that hole just a second ago. I was getting a lot of bites, but they I wasn't getting any hook sets. So that told me that they were small fish. And here we have a happy little paratopian. So I switched over to even smaller. What's up? Hope you are slaying them. Smaller lure and a smaller hook. Vlad, what in the world's going on, dude? Thank you for five months. Welcome back. How's life treating you? We're just out here catching some little creek fishies, man, having a good time. Nothing serious. At least that's what everybody else thinks. <laughs> See, when you switch over to that, when you switch over to that smaller hook, man, you ain't gonna miss no fish. It didn't rain hard up here, no. Uh, they're, they're calling for more. Yep, good old 13 fishing hooks, man. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of 13 fishing, that's what these... Uh, jig heads came from that's the company that makes them if you'll notice uh up on the hook the tip of the hook up here there is a uh it's kind of uh, pointed upward it's got an upward angle to it it helps for better hook set on small fish yeah we're supposed to get some pretty good rains so it's probably uh, either heading this way or you know you know i mean it's coming I missed a fish. I missed a fish with the 13 fishing jig head. How is that even possible? Didn't miss him that time. Dang, it almost looks like a pumpkin seed, but it's not. It's just a bluegill. I'm not even keeping count of how many fish we're catching because, yeah. That might be near impossible. That could very well be impossible. You guys can enjoy the scenery and the beautiful little micro fishies. really like to hook into a banded sculpin. I can't believe it we've got into a pot of bluegill. It's been a really really long time since I've caught bluegill out of here. It's normally rock bass and creek chubs and stuff. Uh, bluegill are kind of far and few between. You might find a little school of them every once in a while on this creek. But they're honestly not very plentiful. And I don't think there's any other panfish as far as like red breasted sunfish and stuff like that. I've never seen any here. Actually, no, I have caught I've caught red ear. Ooh, this is good fish. We're calling out them small ones. Getting down to the big daddies here. Ooh, look at that one. Dang son. Oh, he's got a battle scar too. That's a big old freaking bluegill, man. Look at that. With the battle scar. That's a big chunk. Darn son. Hey, Crystal, what's going on? Good afternoon. Hope you're having a great career. Joey. Vader Skabobble, what are y'all into, man? Good to see you. 
trying to get this thing out of this little fish's mouth here. There we go. Now he's not very little for a bluegill, but look at that battle scar, man. There's been something big after him. Tommy thinks it's the smallest one. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. That's the biggest one so far. Oh man. I bet that may have been the last one. He was the he was like the keeper of the the pit. Let's see if there's any more after him. No, 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 no. Oh that little prick stole my lure, man. Never mind, that was that must have been the keeper of the pit right there. He took my lure. It's like it's over. It's over for you, man. Get out of here. Bigger predators are not so far from those bluebell games. <laughs> There's some smallmouth in here. They're not small mouth, I'm sorry, large mouth. But they're not very plentiful either. It's getting cold, man. I should have worn my jacket. I smell something dead over here. Nice. Smells so bad, dude. Holy crap. So basically, I'm taking these gold minnows, cutting them in half. Trying to make myself feel good after getting skunked yesterday. Water's pretty cold, man. Now we, uh, <laughs> I guess now that the keeper is gone, the little 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 guys are gonna come out. Thank you, guys, that are giving the follows. Much appreciated. Welcome to Paratopia. Feel free to come in the chat, say hi, ask questions. You know. You know how it goes. They pack huddle back up. <laughs> Trout water was 47. This is probably... Low 50s. Plus, it's coming from the mountain, too, so. What's up, Oli? We're just out here doing a little creek fishing, man. There's multi species in here. So far, we've caught bluegill and uh, striped shiners. But there's largemouth uh, and several other species in here. Rock bass. Zambo, what's going on? It's my favorite favorite thing to do, Zambo Creek fishing, man. I'll catch these little old tiny fish all day long.
It's more more about the scenery and the relaxation aspect and the size of the fish for me. But we've caught some pretty big fish out of this creek, believe it or not. Kiwi, what's going on? Used to do it once or twice a week. Good looking creek. This is probably probably my favorite creek. Sparing suckers in the creek. He doesn't seem a fair fight for the fish. <laughs> I ain't even giving him a chance. They don't know that they're they're being hunted by a legend. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> You're going to have to show me those spots. You want to do some bluegill fishing, Tristar? <laughs> this is a spot that I have permission to fish in. So I'll have to get you permission too. Oh yeah, Zambo. That's probably a good method during winter. Because even them fish get really nostalgic. Or, or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Friggin' not nostalgic. Not nostalgic. Uh, docile. Can fish even be nostalgic? <laughs> Alright, I'm about to move to a different spot just because... Fish getting nostalgic. <laughs> Wolf Slayer, what's going on? I love that name, man. Dang nostalgic fish. <laughs> hey, to be honest with you though, this is nostalgic for me because this is basically the same type of fishing I've done my entire life. When I was a kid, I'd get home from school. There was a creek right across from my house. I would go straight to that creek until dark. And that's what I did. And I'd catch, catch fish for the rest of the day. There's my biggest catch, guys. If you want to click on that link, it'll take you to a picture of my 30 pound striped bass. And also, you new guys that are coming in, if you would please go check out my YouTube. I'm trying to make a little bit of a push on YouTube. I, I don't have a lot of good editing, editing skills and stuff, so my, my YouTube videos are pretty basic nothing fancy plus the quality kind of sucks because I have to depend on my VOD where the quality is subject to the sale service available at my, the particular spot that I'm at so it's nowhere near 1080p or anything crazy like that but if you want to go to YouTube search for parasitic please if you would if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel we're almost to 100 subscribers on YouTube. Uh, if I knew how to do a YouTube video giveaway, I would do a giveaway for making it to 100 subscribers. But I don't know how to do that on YouTube. I do know how to do it on Twitch, though. Look at these little dinks, man. What the heck? Oh, I'm having the time of my life right now, dude. This is great. Yeah, it ain't gonna be clear much longer, is it, Tristar? This googly-eyed thing, man. Look at that. Hey, thank you, Joey.
You guys can go on there and make fun of the quality of my YouTube quality of my YouTube videos. They're like in uh, 360p, if not worse. <laughs> go in there and comment and be like bro dude why don't you just like get a get a gopro bro like like for real though what the heck is this stuff man 180p come on bro Woo, son i think uh i'm surprised that we haven't fished this hole out yet I'm like, I'm just, I'm waiting for them to stop biting. I still smell something dead. It's disgusting. I think this spot, this spot might be done, guys. We done caught every single bluegill in this hole. They ain't biting no more. Never mind. I lied. It's slowing down for sure. There's another good hole right up, to, right up the creek here, though. They learned their lesson. Have you guys ever seen that YouTube video? It's, it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's two girls and they're like nibbling on coat hanger hooks, and it says something like this is what fish are like and that one girl that one girl gets pulled off the screen and then that, that other girl's like what the what the heck what, what was that what happened where'd my friend go and then she starts nibbling on the hook again <laughs> The SpongeBob episode, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look, Patrick. <laughs> or, or is it? Or, oh, I got a bite over there. Or is it? Or is it Patrick that gets SpongeBob to do it? Patrick's like, "Hey, SpongeBob, look at these hooks, SpongeBob. <laughs> we should take a ride on them." <laughs> Oh, they're so pretty. What do you think, SpongeBob? <laughs> oh, Grumpy, what's going on, buddy? Spot on. <laughs> Oh, come on, homie. Yeah, there he is. Hey, that's a different species. Look at that. We went from this, or we went from this hole over here, catching bluegill, to this hole over here, catching striped shiners. How about that? And he also stole my my lure. And he's gone. If you guys want 
one of the most versatile and fish catchingness catchy lure out there get you some gold minnows these are the one inch I also use the two inch uh, I actually cut these one inch ones in half because uh, my hookup ratios are better and my catches are better with these smaller fish but freaking gulp minnows are amazing I used to catch uh, I used to get the two and a half and three inch ones and take them down to the river where we caught all those smallmouth and the smallmouth love them now we'll try your minnows very well sire I shall try your minnows But we got a little, little tiny, uh, little tiny hook on here. It's like a, uh, a 130 second. Uh, this might be 164th of an ounce jig head from 13 Fishing. I like 13 Fishing's hooks for smaller fish, pan fish. Gulp is nice to use. Gulps are good. They're good. Uh, and when people start doing the freaking uh, video game fishing, I call it. When they start doing the uh, uh, Damiki rig, it's almost impossible to find gulp minnows because that's what they use for the Damiki rig. All right, let's go up to this next hole here. Oh snap, Joey. Mayor Joey Crusher gifting Paratipian citizenship to Victor Biscobble. Joey, thank you for that, man. Super generous of you. And much appreciated. True fan panfish. Joey is a super awesome guy. See if we can catch any more right here just before I go walking through it. I swear if we catch more bluegill right here, I'm going to freak out. We got like 20 bluegill out of this hole. There can't be any more bluegill in here. Okay, I lied. There's more bluegill in there. <laughs> Shark Blitz, what's up? Oh, we're just, you know, slaying the Tennessee Spotted Creek Sharks today. <laughs> yeah, we're just chilling out fishing, doing a little creek fishing. This, this actually is the main type of fishing I do, but this particular stretch of creek here doesn't have a whole lot of bigger bigger species fish in it we have caught uh let's see i caught a seven seven pound channel catfish down there on this thing right here and i caught a six pound channel cat up there above the water waterfall and there's also large mouth bass in here that we catch every once in a while But for the most part, it's bluegill and uh, striped shiners, creek chubs, stuff like that. All you caught was a channel catfish. Hey, that's still a pretty good day, though. Every day of fishing is a good day. It doesn't matter if you catch anything or not. Now, if you lose, like, you know, 15,000 lures, it's, you know, kind of makes it not very fun. <laughs> 
Uh, Shark Blitz, this is the same creek, but it's further upstream. The further you get upstream, the less, you know, species there are. Yeah, I'm not going to pay Streamlabs $20 a freaking month for something that don't work. What we got? That's a striped shiner. He's gone. And I don't understand why my stream is dropping either. Because I've got five bars of service right here. This is like the most cell service that we have in any area around here. But my streams get dropped for some reason. I don't see anybody else having these issues. Oh, Grumpy, we're having connection issues for some reason. Well, the internet's good, but I've had this problem for a long time, Pleco. Like, I, last year I had this issue. And I don't know why. It's like somebody's attacking my stream or something. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually what's happening, but that's what it seems like. You know, like you're getting D DDoS or whatever. Oh, dang, that was a good bite. I've had a lot of strange things happen lately, so I don't I wouldn't put it past the stream getting attacked from some something. Holy crap, dude. That's the biggest striped signer I've ever caught in my life. Dude. This thing's massive. Put it in the tank. That's a huge freaking shiner. Huge stripe shiner. Yeah, uh, thank you, uh, Vedra Skibaba. But uh, I don't know, you would understand if you if you knew all the things that have happened to me uh, you would probably understand <laughs> that's just the way it is though. perfect pike bait <laughs> What's going on, Vector? This water's cold, man. I can't feel my feet. What's this? It's bluegill. You can't feel my feet either? No dang it. I wish you could feel my feet.
Would you like to feel my feet? <laughs> oh, shoot, son. That's a good bite, too. <coughs> Did the stream drop again, bro? Okay. <laughs> I came back in to where I wish you could feel my feet. <laughs> Welcome back, Chai Star. Woo! Woo! Pretty little bluegill. Pretty little bluegill. Yeah, I think I'm going to email Streamlabs when I get home. Or maybe not tonight, maybe tomorrow or something. It's a bunch of bullcrap. You know, paying a company for something. That doesn't even work. I wish stream elements was mm, mm, I wish their app was more like stream labs layout the easy easy customization and stuff like that that's the only reason I prefer stream labs but if stream labs is gonna crash on me every 30 minutes when I have crash protection, then that's ridiculous. I'm gonna have to put a new lure on. This one's wore out. Stream still good? I mean, crashing. crash again hey you bug off all right you freaking kingfishers leave me alone
Hello everyone. Anybody there? Hello? I think the stream actually died again. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Y'all had me freaking out, man. I was like, dang on it. We done crashed again. I'm about to go and call Streamlabs right now. Look at that. You should you should all write Streamlabs an email. <laughs> Mass email them. Another stripe shiny. See, like right now, it's not even showing how many people's in here. Maybe it's Twitch. Maybe it's not Streamlabs. Maybe it's Twitch. Oh, shoot, son. That's a decent fish. God dang! Look at that slab. Woo! Better switch. Could be. It could be me. Could be Verizon. I don't know. Big old slab. Yeah, because it says I have zero viewers right now. There's, you know, there's people talking in my chat, so. I know there's people in here. Thirteen on your end. You see how much that hurt? Like I don't really care because I'm not ever gonna become a partner or anything like that. So it doesn't really matter to me. But you see how much that hurts? Not only not only me but other streamers. Like we went from forty-five viewers to yeah this. <laughs> Somebody up there fishing? I heard a horn or something. Yep, we're back, old crew. They're old grumpy, I'm sorry. That's another slab bluegill. I heard a horn up there, like somebody locked their collar. I don't like it when my truck's sitting up there all alone. Dude, this is like all bluegill. I've never caught this many bluegill here. It's crazy.
just, yeah, that just gives me a, you know, ice. That gives me a good feeling because that, you know, that means creek fishing's really starting to turn on. Oh, there's really small fish over here. I can't even set the hook on them with this this little setup here. Be really freaking small. Yeah, those are so small I can't catch them. Not with this anyway. I could catch them with some smaller hooks and stuff. But... This hole right here is kind of slowing down now too, seems like. Ooh, what is this? Yo, it's a largemouth bass. <laughs> Our first largemouth bass. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, what the heck, dude. I told you it's a largemouth in here. I told you there's large mouth in here. <laughs> Dang old large mouth, man. It's a cutie, ain't it? The currents, uh, it's cause the current's pushing it. And I'm reeling in my slack. Nope, there was a hit. Yeah, I gotta reel in my slack so I can still feel the bite. The current right here is pretty, pretty fast current right here. There's a bite. Oh. I could probably stand 
like in front of this hole over here and fish it a little bit of a different way instead of reeling in I could follow it down Yeah, this spot seems to be seems to be turning off a little bit. If I throw over here, I get bites, but I can't get a hook set, so they're like really, really small fish. Yeah, look at that! Holy crap! <laughs> it's a little tiny stripe shining. Oh gosh. How small, I've got the smallest one on right now, actually. Uh, in my backpack. Actually, no, I don't. I've got two hooks in my backpack that are like size 20. We could go smaller. We could go smaller. I think I'm gonna keep it at this though. Also, I think I'm gonna start making my way downstream. There's not really anywhere else I can fish up that way. It's all really rapidy. Yeah, I've got smaller hooks than this. Oh shoot, he bit the tail off of it. Holy crap. I'm about to switch the lures again. Get out for a minute because I can't feel my freaking feet. It is getting cold, man. Yeah, I've got some size 20 hooks and some little old tiny little uh, maggot imitation eggs. I do need to try those at some point. Because I've been wanting to try them for a long time. I think the only thing that's deterring me from trying them is tying on a hook that small. Everything's still good, guys. It's still not showing me any numbers or anything as far as, you know, how many people I got in here, so I can't tell when it drops. Normally, I can tell when it drops because uh, the number will go to zero, but it's just stuck on zero, so I can't tell when it drops. Looking good, sweet. 
Appreciate you guys hanging out in here with me. Let's head downstream here a little bit, go to a couple other different holes. I might try fishing these bluegill holes right here again. Check that little thing out over there, it's pretty cool. Look at that. Watching from England. How are things going over there in England? Grumpy. Ooh. Okay. Man says 11. See, there's a. Ooh, it's starting to rain. There's something going on with Twitch right now. I'm from Holland. Fishing here is not too exciting. I haven't found the greatest spot yet. I don't know where to look though. Uh, I don't know what species you have over there, but I'll just start by looking on Google Maps and uh, find you some little creeks. Take some night crawlers. Bear first to see what's in there. See if you can get anything to bite on night crawlers. Uh, now I'm talking as far as like this type of fishing uh, of course there's other things you can do your show's 11 okay I think there's something going on with Twitch man I really do something isn't right You're on lockdown. And it's 2.38, 2.13am. Yeah, I'm surprised. They're actually thinking about lifting. We're not on lockdown right now, but we're on a safer at home thing. And essential businesses are the only businesses that are really open. Uh, we can still go fishing and hunting. Uh, stuff like that. All the uh, state parks are closed down. Uh, but for, for the most part, man, it's still kind of a normal normal routine, which it's hard to believe. safer at home yep restart the app uh, see I don't know I'm not gonna worry about it Pleco. I restarted my phone early earlier when it crashed and completely restarted my phone Mandatory mask is in public spaces except mine. My county, which has been the hardest hit. What the heck, dude? That's... <laughs> yeah, that don't make no sense. Okay, so yeah, you could do the same kind of stuff I'm doing here then. Just get on Google Maps, look for a good creek. That's how I find most of my spots is Google Maps. <laughs> Fish fry. And while you're at it, you should live stream it. Yes, I know you're up there, Kingfisher. I see you. You're going to swoop down and 
take my head off in a minute. Because that's what kingfishers do to me for some reason. I guess... I guess they see me as the king, you know. They see me as the king and they're like they're trying to trying to take down the king, trying to prove their dominance. <laughs> A lot of people catching carp. Dango method feeders. I don't know if you guys have ever seen everything I've got on as far as when I stream but I've got on hey look my numbers finally showed up here twitch is better now oh twitch I'm sorry twitch but you're having a rough time he's all better now twitch is all better now or maybe it was streamlabs I don't know But anyway, like I was saying, when I stream, I've got my waders on, which are strapped around my shoulders and neck, basically. They go up over my shoulders. I've got the chest mount on, which is strapped around my, uh, my chest and over my shoulders. And I've got my backpack on, which weighs about 10 pounds. And it's actually really, really tasking on my, on my shoulders, my back, and my neck. Yeah, you guys are on my chest. I used to bring a tripod with me, but it made it way too hard to to fish and stuff. Because I had to, oh, I had to sit down the tripod. I had to either put it in the middle of the creek or ever on the bank somewhere. It would fall all the time. Okay. Stream went down. Let me know when we're back. Back up. Jesus, man. <laughs> what a mess. Okay, so. <laughs> you guys right here. And I just look down and I can read chat. Hey chat. Then I have my waders, which are right here. They go up over my chest. Then I've got my backpack. It's very, and you can see you, you guys are here. It wraps around my neck right here. And that's just kind of the way it sits around my neck. And it's all that stuff up on my shoulders, man. It's very freaking... I don't know. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world. <laughs> very handsome man. Oh, yeah. You never seen what it look like? We used to do tripod streams, but it, 
having a having a chest mount just makes things ten times easier. See if we can catch a little something over here. I'm gonna before it gets dark. I want to go up to the red, uh, not the red eye, rock bass. There's a rock bass hole upstream here. I'm downstream. I'm sorry, downstream. And we can usually catch quite a few little rock bass over at that hole. Westinio, what's going on? Actually, I actually got some bites over here. Yeah, we've, I've kind of lost count of how many we've caught. Uh, we've caught three different species of fish, though. We've caught bluegill, striped shiners, and largemouth bass. Yeah, uh, we've probably caught 30 fish, I'd say. The bite seems to be turning off a little bit though. Don't, don't seem to be biting as much as they were. See like that spot right there, I can normally catch a couple of fish there at least. <clears throat> Thank you, Westina. This is one of my this is what I do, man. Uh, creek fishing is my my thing, so to speak. Main main type of fishing we do is in creeks. I don't really do a whole lot of lake fishing. We'll do uh, some river fishing every once in a while. But for the most part, this is where we're going to be right here. Parasitic's now live. Yeah, I've been live for like two hours. But Twitch is acting up for some reason. I 
I'm wondering if I can catch anything on, on the pink worm. My line's not, my line, my line is not acting right. It's not casting out like it should. Oh. You got creeks but have nothing there? What's the main type of fishing you do? I'm getting some bites right there, but they're they must be super small. Yeah, my line. Oh, something's up with my line right here. Yeah, okay, there it is. Yeah, that's better. Okay, awesome. If you guys want to see the biggest fish I've ever caught, uh, type in exclamation point. Mm. Exclamation point, big bass. Sorry, I got a bite log right. Right when I was saying that. Exclamation point, big bass. Yeah, there it is. Just click on that little link there. And... My line is acting up again. I've got a little... It was about 28 pounds. That's a toddler. <laughs> and if you guys want to, t I also have a YouTube that I'm trying to do some stuff on. I'm not very good at it. The video quality is horrible. And my editing isn't that great. Uh, I think you can type in exclamation point social and that'll give you my YouTube link I believe hey travel buddy what's going on how are you today man we're catching a whole bunch of brim panfish caught a largemouth bass Let's see, does that give you my YouTube link? It does not give you my YouTube link. That's awesome. Okay, well, just search, just search YouTube for Parasitic, and you'll find me. Our YouTube name is Parasitic, the Creek Geek. getting sick of sitting at home oh man that sucks i'm sorry i hope it ends for you guys soon there we go vector thank you man i'm gonna have to make a i'm gonna have to add that youtube link to my social stuff <laughs> check it out oh uh, and then night then nightbot spams two youtube links thanks nightbot
What's up, Netflix? No trout. There's only trout in here when they stock them for the uh, the kids tournament. But we've caught three species. We've caught largemouth bass, bluegill, and striped shiners. And as soon as we get down over, oh gosh, as soon as we get down to this spot over here, we're going to be catching some rock bass. Yeah, it's been a good day, man. I love my little creek fishing. Because of the virus, my test to get the German fishing license is also dated. Oh no, dude. No. <laughs> That's horrible. Do they have any projected ETA of when it might end? Like when they're going to lift it or anything? No information. Wow. Viper Top Gun. What's going on, buddy? Welcome. Hope you're having a marvelous day. Ooh, dang, son, little freak. get a hook set on him but that's a little little old guy hey state parks are open nice I'm waiting for that here in Tennessee hopefully it happens soon do I eat ramps what is that I'm not sure what that is so I probably don't <laughs> oh, is it really TriStar? Oh, I might have to go up there. Well, it's going to be raining and storming all weekend. I might have to go up there and hike the trail back to F Creek. So I'm staying there for the weekend. I don't really need one. Oh, state parks are open, so I'm staying there for the weekend. Nice. Yeah, I know, travel buddy. It just kind of shows how vulnerable we are, man. Modern society has made us very weak. Very, very weak. And people don't know what to do. People don't know what to do during a situation like this. People can't, people can't, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say all people. Some people can't take care of themselves, man, uh, for various reasons. One of them being health issues. One of them being that they just can't. They don't know how. They rely, they go to work, they work all day. They eat out at work. They eat out when they go home from work. And then, you know, by that time it's ready to go to bed and get up and do it all over again. And nobody, not very many people live for themselves anymore. 
No, people don't farm. People don't have homesteads. We're just, we, we are stuck in this very, very extremely vulnerable state. And it's because of modern society. was that I don't like hearing doors when my truck is sitting up there I have an old truck that a lot of people like it's not in the greatest of conditions but it's also not a very bad looking truck and I just don't trust people especially after all my fishing stuff got stolen I had trust issues before that now I really have trust issues. I gotta catch up a chat. Mm -hmm. Point Blank, what's going on, buddy? Make sure you guys follow Point Blank. He fishes creeks and stuff like this, too. Awesome streamer. Go give him a follow. Uh, what area of Tennessee are you in? I am in East Tennessee. Yep, they are oh, back in up tomorrow. Oh, they can't understand what I mean. Oh, yeah, the wild onions. Yep, and now we can see how controlled we are. Let the media tell us one, two facts, and there will be panic. No one will be using their own brain anyway. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Netflix. <coughs> I think we will try store. Tomorrow, it's only supposed to... Uh, rain in the morning time the afternoon afternoon looks good i don't know about saturday i think saturday is supposed to be pretty rough and then sunday is supposed to be no rain but it's supposed to be cold like 50 degrees cold i had another one of my friends that wanted to take me to uh uh, <coughs> K University or K College and fish up there did a lot of creek fishing oh oh oh, 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 oh. got a little micro fish here what we got there's a striped shiner uh, ripping lips. Uh, we're in the the area where Cherokee Lake is, Watauga Lake, Douglas Lake, South Holston Lake. All that, all that area, all that area there. Wataga Lake. Yep, I'll let you know, Trista. I'm not sure. I really want to go back down to the river, but I got to make a trip to Bass Pro Shop and get my crankbaits back, man. All of my all of my crankbaits well, let me rephrase that. Not all of my crankbaits. Uh, my crankbait box was in my backpack of fishing stuff that got stolen. So I lost all of my lipless crankbaits, all of my square bill crankbaits, and all of my KVD 1.5 crankbaits. Lost every single one of them. I have yet to buy them back. Uh, the crankbaits that I've been using are all crankbaits out of my uh, my junk drawer that 
that I have of fishing lures is basically stuff I never use. So I gotta go, you know, buy a whole bunch of grain baits. Uh, Netflix. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, you could say that. But we do a lot of creek fishing like this right here. And this is the main type of fishing I do. Look how fat that creek chub is. It's not a creek chub, it's a striped shiner. This is a striped shiner. Look how fat it is. <laughs> the imperfect pike bait. They were packed when I went last week. Hopefully it won't be bad tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go sometime and get some, man. Cause I basically, I lost like six of them yesterday when we were at the river. I always think about it as pike bait. I wish we had pike around here, man. We do, but they're like further away. When did my stuff get stolen, point blank? It was March 4th. And uh, the community, the community came together and helped me get all of my micro fishing stuff back. This is the new backpack that we got. All that stuff in there is because of you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have any of that right there. Yeah, all my stuff got stolen and you guys helped me get it back and I'm forever grateful for that uh, $800 right there freaking $800 <laughs> darter what's going on me too, man. This is the main kind of fishing I like doing right here. Creek fishing. Yeah, someone broke into my truck. Well, they didn't break into it. Uh, it, w it was unlocked, and they just opened it up and took it. <laughs> My back hurts when I see most of you spin fishing all the time. It's very, very, very taxing on your back and shoulders. I was just showing, I don't know if you was in here when I was showing everybody my setup, but I'll show people again that are just joining. Uh, when I when I take this stuff off, everything I've got on, oh my gosh, it's such a relief, dude. It, it actually restricts my my breathing and stuff like it actually it actually causes me not to breathe uh, be able to breathe is good <laughs> it's another fish <laughs> alright guys you new people that in here that ain't seen my face yet don't freak out don't, don't pass out don't have a heart attack don't have a stroke please it might, it might scare you a little bit Okay, so you guys are here in the little uh, in the little chest mount, and I basically just look down and I reach out, reach out, what's up? The young Mr. Pharaoh, and then I have this strap right here is you guys. It goes up around my neck like this. And it also goes down here around my waist. And I have to have it tight because if I don't have it tight, this is going to move around a whole lot. Then I have my waders. 
which is right here. They go up over my shoulders too. And then I have this 10, 15 pound backpack on top of that. So yeah, it's uh, not the most comfortable situation. Good, good gosh. Good googly moogly. Oh yeah. My man comes in Monday, so next week we will head out and do some air fishing. Choo choo, man. I tell you what. Who said it was easy? <laughs> Have the wife hook me up on padding. I don't know if I, I don't know if it, the padding would help. Like it's not really. It's just the constriction of it, like, especially this chest mount. This chest mount has to be pretty freaking tight to keep you guys even partially stable. Uh, so, it's, yeah. Uh, I was going to put a new lure on because something bit the tail off of it. See what I'm missing our tail already. Um, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. I'm ready to go back up to the river, man, and catch some of them trout. I just wish the service was better up there. I'm going to have to go down to like 360p at 1,000 kilobytes a second. And even that is pushing it. It's very hard to stream up there. Nah. It's kind of getting dark, man. What time is it? 8 o'clock? Holy crap. Let's go down here to the red eye hole. I want to catch some red eyes. Or, I'm sorry, rock bass. Not sure if you've been watching what he posted in it, but the DR is running way better now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I need to pay, pay more attention to that. Oh. Yeah, I want you to take me up there sometime, man. I don't know if we'll be able to stream at all up there, but we can give it a shot. Either way, I want to go. It doesn't matter if I stream or not. Yes, the brook trout. Oh my gosh. Go away, Kingfisher. Jeez. Yeah, I'm coming over here to catch your fish now. So, right over here, Tristar, is what I call the rock bass hole. It's a pretty good bass hole. <laughs> pretty much guaranteed to catch a rock bass. Man, my line's not casting. I have to fix fix that. Okay, where are they at? Don't turn me into a liar.
it's going to turn me into a liar. Nope, that's not a rock bass. That's a bluegill. Keep seeing people around here catch them. All right, rock bass this time. Not a bluegill. And that's a, that's that's a striped shiner. Okay, chat. I promise you. I promise there's rock bass in here. That's a fish right there. What's going on, Ed? How you doing, buddy? Trying to catch some rock bass. Out of the rock bass hole. But so far, there ain't no rock bass and rock bass hole. What we got? I bet these dang bluegill run, all, run them all off, man. Yeah, Twitch has been going crazy, dude. Something's been going on. I bet them. Uh, I bet them bluegill ran these guys down to the next hole. There's another hole a little ways down the road where the rock bass like to hang out. I'm noticing a ton of bluegill there, which I don't normally catch. Right here. Hmm. It's getting where I can't see my line. Yep, that seems to be the issue, uh, Ed. Ran my rock bass off. Ooh. Below the falls over there, it's uh, like super, super shallow. Super, super shy. Oh, shoot. That's a good bite. That felt like a rock bass. What in the world, man? 
Maybe I need to put on a something else. They usually go for these gold minnows, though. Yabby Pump, Yabby Pump Luke. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Welcome to Petertopia. Glad to have you. We've caught, I don't know how many fish, but we've caught three species. Gosh, I thought that was one of them, man. I'm trying to catch rock bass right now. We've got largemouth bass, bluegill, and striped shiners. Oh, shoot. Dang. Dang, son. Dang, son. Dragonfly nymphs. I don't have any flies like that, but I do have some dragonfly nymphs that we can try. I was actually thinking about putting those on because right now I got a gulp minnow on. A gulp alive minnow. We don't have a whole bunch of time left, it's getting dark. on the bug thing yeah see what the bug thing does let's see lucky John does not make a bug pattern uh hello Okay, there they are. I was like, uh, no, this is, uh, not my property. I wish it was. I'd never get anything done if this was my property. <laughs> I think I'm missing a bag of plastics, man. It looks like it. Here's my random bag of plastics. Euro tackle. 13 fishing. Lucky John. Uh, hello? Okay, there they are. Fanatic. I about freaked out from it. I just had a fish jump behind me. Yeah, this is my favorite thing to do. Yabby. Creek fishing. Here's the little dragonfly nymph I was telling you about. We'll try it out before it gets dark. We ain't got much time left. This looks going to be too big for a lot of these fish in here. So what? Uh, uh, it's going to cut down on the amount of catches that we're getting, but hopefully we can get a rock bass with it. Last time I was right here, 
We were catching them on the gold minnows. You can't see my line, dude. It seems like the, the bluegill have moved in and kind of pushed these rock bass out. Usually we live ones with plastics, okay. Yeah, I would say they bought the live ones much better. Ah, yeah, shoot. Can't see my line because it's too dark. Where's my line at, bro? Can't be one with the rod. I like to see my line so I can work it through these roots right here and stuff. No, oh, there was a bite. I don't know where I'm at, man. Looks great swimming. <laughs> You're in Australia, too. Over there with the shook and Australia's fishing. And my dog is well huge. I'd love to go to Australia, man. We were waiting. We were waiting in the water earlier. I think I'm gonna go back up to this hole real quick. Fish a little bit, and then we'll have to call it a day because we won't be able to see anything. Raid! Oh no, man. Shook with the raid. 59. Oh, if it was only 10 more people, we could have got 69. <laughs> What's up, Kayla? Thank you all very, 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 very much for that raid. Much appreciated. We have caught a ton of fish. Of course, they've all been little fish because we're fishing in a creek. But we've caught largemouth bass, bluegill, and striped shiners. And of course, it's fixing to get dark on us. So I'm going to go back up here and hit this hole a little bit, and then I'll probably have to call it a day myself. <laughs> Thank you guys for that raid. I hope you had a great stream. I know you guys always catch fish, so I ain't even gonna ask. The last known hobo, what's up? We're in Tennessee, you guys. Tennessee. Thank you all for the followers. Much appreciated.
Oh yeah, you're Luke. What's up, Luke? Yeah, all right. Thank you guys for the follows. Appreciate it. Oh, wait a minute. It's starting to rain too, bro. Hold up. It's getting dark really quick, so I'm going to see if we can uh, improvise here a little bit. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Boom. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Can't see you. Where you at? Now we're gonna have a bunch of bugs flying in our face. And it's starting to rain a little bit harder. So, yep. This doesn't really help you guys a whole, whole lot. Because it's still kind of like a. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Dixie Wrecked? <laughs> oh, yeah, that rain is starting to come down. Holy cow. Holy cow. It's pretty bright. Still looks great, sweet. Ain't getting no bites on the uh, dragonfly larva here. I might throw an inline spinner in there, I don't know. The light works good, now we can go catfishing. <laughs> I don't know, no, no worries. I usually do catch fish on that. That's one of my go-to lures, actually. The dragonfly nymph. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Son of a gun. Look at there. Look at there, Luke. Our fourth species. A rock bass. <laughs> Dang old rock bass, man. Let's see, somebody asked what we was fishing for. Uh, Dixie Rack. There's only trout in here a couple of months out of the year. Mostly it's a uh, rock bass, bluegill, creek chubs, largemouth bass, and striped shiners. Uh, oh yeah, and common shiners too. Yeah, it got dark quick. What's the fish count? I have no idea. We've caught so many fish, I lost count. We've probably caught, I don't know, what y'all, what y'all think? 30 fish maybe but they've all been bluegill we caught one largemouth bass we caught uh, a bunch of striped shiners and now we caught rock bass so we've caught four different species again thank you guys that are following really appreciate it Welcome to Paratopia. It's raining and it's dark. I'm starting to get wet. We ain't gonna be able to do this much longer because, yeah, don't uh, don't need to get my phone and all that stuff wet.
Dag gum, son, we found the rock bass. <laughs> We found the rock bass. This is what we're using. It's a little dragonfly nymph. It's one of my go-to lures. I do. I catch a lot of fish on. Luke's the one that got us to tie it on. This has kind of got that shadow bass look to it, but it is. It's just a rock bass. <laughs> Crazy horse. Mod City. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Lures half the size of the bass. There you go, little buddy. Thanks for letting me catch you. Oh my god, I'm getting wet. Oh. Oh yeah, there you go. Anybody new that's coming into the channel, if you want to click on that link that says my biggest catch 30 pound striped bass click that link and we just got hung up click that link and it'll show you my biggest fish that i've ever caught come on let's go out in the water for a bit come on let's go let's go chat into the water we go scare away all the rock bass Scare them all the way. Yep, that's a big dang hole right there. <laughs> what is that? Something moved, bro. Okay. Dang, it gets deep. Darn son. Bro. I can only wait out there so far because of my freaking battery pack. Oh god! Another lure for the fishing gods. I refuse. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I'm scary. Yeah, I can't go real deep because my battery pack is at my stomach. I'm trying not to go. Oh shoot! There it goes. Dang! <laughs> I ain't gonna be able to get it, man. Oh, I got it. Woo! Let's go. Dive in for it, it's worth it. I'm just hoping this is a bug viewing stream. Alright, here you go. Here we have the elusive dragonfly nymph in its natural habitat. If you look closely, you can see its legs spread out. Amongst my hand. This is an extremely rare species, and only a few hundred of them are left in the entire world.
Oh, dang, son. <laughs> I know I ain't gonna catch nothing now. I just walked out in the freaking middle of the creek. <laughs> now, crap, I got water on my screen. It's acting all crazy. Okay. I can't believe I'm standing out here in the freaking rain, in the dark, trying to catch minnows. What have y'all done to me? <laughs> Can you guys even see anything? <laughs> you see a lot? Now is not a good time to get sick, true. Not a very good time to get sick at all. An eye shine of a creature. Mr. Beer, what's up? We're going down. What? 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 I just about went down in a creek. Oh, 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 oh. Phew. I can't see crap, man. I don't know where I'm casting. I can see my line now, though. Beer, we've been catching all kinds of fish, man. All kinds of fish. But it seems like the day is about over with. Keepers, nah, they were mostly bluegill. I mean, we got some pretty big bluegill. Keeper bluegill. Caught a largemouth bass. Uh, a couple of striped shiners. A couple of rock bass. GMC whiskey. Looking forward to a ke catch and cook stream. Me? Me catch and cook? Uh-oh. Now, oh, dang it. Every time a raindrop hits my screen, it takes a shot off. Thank you, Dixie Rick. <laughs> I didn't get to stream much last year. Last year was a... Uh, we've been streaming fishing since 2017. Early 2017. More specifically, July 2017. 
and we streamed every day for two years there and then last year just because the schedule changes to my wife's work and stuff I pretty much didn't get to stream at all it sucked <laughs> I just got hung up again yeah dang it that's a deep hole right there too Let's get in the water again, chat. <laughs> hey, look, it came loose as soon as we got in the water. Awesome. Thanks. This is actually our second one, Philip. <laughs> That's all good, Dixie. <laughs> See you, Ed. Have a great night. Now, are we mining for fish with a headlamp? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Luke, thanks for stopping in, man. Hope to see you again soon. I think I'm gonna switch back over to a gulp minnow for a minute. No. I really need to go home. <laughs> Cause oh, it's 8 30. <laughs> I still gotta I still gotta eat supper and you know, all that good stuff. I'll be back. Awesome man, appreciate you. See, <laughs> you are not going home. Beer, thank you for them bits, man. Look at my backpack, it's all wet. 10 25 a.m. <laughs> yeah, you're already in Friday, ain't you? That's crazy. Dude. That is crazy. So, what made me say screw it? Well, <laughs> Shook gave us a host. Uh, earlier that's one reason <clears throat> and two I kind of like it last time I went fishing in the dark like this I liked it it's just a pretty neat experience look how wet I am I'm so wet. <laughs> I'm dirty too. Wet and dirty. There we go. PG-13 program. <laughs> Keep talking dirty. <laughs> Pleco likes it. They see me roll, uh, they hate me, uh, cause I'm just so wet and dirty, I'm just so wet and dirty, wet and dirty, I'm so wet and dirty. Wow. 
Oh, it's dark, be safe, yeah. It's kind of, I can't see where I'm casting, bro. And I can see my breath now, it's getting cold. There you guys, there's my biggest sketch again. Click on that link, it'll take you to a picture. There's some, some skinny guy, weighs about 100 pounds, holding a fish that weighs about 30 pounds. About half as much as he does. I don't know who that guy is, but <laughs> he's awfully dang skinny. Skibobble. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Have a great night. Sixty-two in Missouri. Dang, sixty-two. Yeah, I can't even tell where my land or my lures landing now, even with the light. Oh, I got a bite, son. <laughs> Come on, give me one more fish, bro. One more fish, and then I can leave. Go home and eat some chili beans. I don't know where that went. Yeah, hey man. Well, I think we're gonna have to call it, y'all. Dude, I know, right? I love chili beans so much. We put we put corn in our chili beans. Kind of adds a little bit of a little bit of difference to it. It's pretty good. The oh, mayor crap. of Maritopia has chosen you. What just happened, bro? The mayor of Maritopia has chosen. Holy crap, you. dude! has chosen you the mayor of paratopia mr beer irl gifting five and people here we have a happy little paratopian five people paratopian citizenship thank you so much dude the mayor of paratopia has chosen you wow dude that's insane thank you so much Mr. Beer. If you guys don't follow Mr. Beer IRL, he streams every once in a while here on Twitch too and does some fishing. So make sure you go follow the mayor of Paratopia, Mr. Beer IRL. <laughs> missed one dude oh that was gonna be my last fish i want to catch one more i need to catch one more fish bro just one more but does he drink beer while fishing
<laughs> oh, he's drinking beer. He's Mr. Beer IRL. All right, I'm in. <laughs> oh, man. I'm hoping to start doing some more uh, nighttime uh, insect bug watching and identification streams as it starts getting warmer. I love doing those things. Manual. Yeah, it's raining, man. I'm soaking wet. I'll send you pics to ID. What's up, Perfect Painting? Make sure you guys follow Perfect Painting as well. The mayor of Paratopia. Holy crap, has dude. Mr. Beer gifting up travel buddy. Paratopian citizenship. Dude, I gotta catch one more fish. I'm not gonna be happy. I don't think it's gonna happen though. Thank you for your generosity, Beer. Oh my gosh, it's starting to rain more, dude. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, son. Holy cow. I'm gonna go down to this hole one more time over here. The mayor of oh my gosh. Has chosen you. Chastard. What the heck, dude? The mayor of Paratopia. Ah, has what's going on? You. What just happened? Babyface ATL? Babyface ATL is an OG. Try to start, dude. Thank you so much. <laughs> he was getting ready to outdo me. Oh my gosh, the rain's coming down, dude. Babyface ATL. I remember I remember when Babyface ATL came in the stream. That's when I got hosted by Alec Lufford out on my kayak. Oh my gosh. We ain't gonna be able to do this, man. It's starting to rain really hard. And it's cold rain too. Holy crap, dude. Come on, fish. One more fish. Let's go. Hurry. Dang it. <laughs> you love Alec? You love Alec? Yeah, Alec, Alec's awesome. That host, that host was from two years ago, I think. Back in 2017. Holy crap, dude. I hope my phone works after this. Woo! <laughs> There's, there is no bad weather, just bad clothes. Ah. Yeah, I see, I know that. I've seen that, Dixie. It sucks. That's, that, that was extremely, extremely unfortunate. Um, definitely keeping him in my prayers. Yeah, we're gonna have to quit, y'all. I can't. Oh, oh, I got a bite. 
Yeah. Krista, thank you for that. Telling everybody to hit the follow button. Oh, God, I had another fish. Come on, this one. <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. Why am I doing this? Uh, if you guys would, please, too, check out my YouTube. I'm trying to work on my YouTube. Uh, the video quality and stuff isn't very good, and my edits aren't very good. Uh, my video quality all depends on how much service I have, obviously, because I'm just transferring it over from a live stream. Uh, but please go give me a follow on the YouTube, too. I would really appreciate it. I think we're almost to 100 followers now. Uh, oh, gosh. Yeah, I don't have a YouTube link set up. I gotta, I gotta, ah, dang it, I just missed a fish. I gotta add the YouTube link. But just search YouTube for Parasitic, and you'll see me. It's Parasitic the Creek Geek. Give us a follow on there, too. We got a lot of our old broadcasts on there. Oh my gosh, come on, bro. Oh, water just hit the screen. I can't see chat. There it is. Oh, there's the YouTube link. Awesome, thank you. You just heard thunder. Sweet. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Yeah, we're going to have to go. It's... It's going to get rough here in a minute. I was hoping for one more fish, but it ain't going to happen. I'm soaking freaking wet. Thank you, Dixie. Oh, gosh. Good to see you, too, as always, Beer. And thank you so much, man. That was extremely generous of you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this actually feels really good. I, I used to play out in the rain all the time. But man, it is cold. We're going to have to find somebody to host. Tell the wifey to stay at the streaming. Yes, you guys, please give my wife a follow too. If we can get a shout out for my wife, exclamation point. Uh, it's pronounced talented, but it's T A L L E Y N T E D. Please go give her channel a follow too. She does a lot of arts and crafts and baking, cooking, all kinds of stuff. Fuzzy, all right, I'm just going to host Fuzzy. Goes. Let's see. Let me get. Oh god. Let me get into Twitch here and see what. Let's see what we got going on here. Double play outdoors is on. Fuzzy's actually making jigs for me right now. Oh crap. Dude, it's hard to do this with the water hitting. Fishing in Texas, okay. There's Fuzzy. 43 viewers, we'll send you to Fuzzy. Uh, I don't have a lot, I just don't have a lot of time to try to find somebody to host. But I haven't hosted Fuzzy in a while, so. Usually, when I host somebody, I send it, I send my host to the, to the person who has the least viewers, who's fishing. But, uh, yeah. Host. Fuzzy, thank you guys so much for the support. You are amazing. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Hope to see you again soon. I gotta get out of here. Go give Fuzzy a follow. Love you guys. Have a great night. <laughs>